Uh, all right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. You know, I thought I'd uh, come on here for a moment and, and actually try to give a little bit of understanding of today. Uh, and I'm going to talk about religious perspectives, opinions, and viewpoints. It's inevitable, you know, growing up here in America, that everybody values their opinion. As a matter of fact, they um, think that their opinion is the epitome of truth, the zenith of truth. Um, and that's the reason why it's um, hard to carry on a rational conversation today with people because unless you're speaking the same thing that they have already confirmed in their minds um, to them, uh, you're not truth or you don't know the truth. Now, you know, growing up here in this country, you know, everybody has opinions, uh, beliefs, perspectives, viewpoints, theologies, point of views, ideologies, a plethora of them. We could go on and on and on. And of course, you know, I'm very well informed to know that if we are going to be sitting out here playing in this arena, um, a public venue, such as YouTube or any social media network, you open up yourself to public scrutiny, and rightfully so. And I go into this full well informed, knowing that that is the case. I also um, understand that you're going to be judged by many, many different opinions who holds either one of these perspectives, point of views, viewpoints, ideologies, theologies, opinions, um, and, and you go on and on and on with it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that everybody is right. So inevitably, you know, you're going to deal with a lot of religious people because I'm a pastor. When I put that out there, automatically people who have been reared and raised in some form of religion, whether it be Christianity, Islam, uh, Buddhism, Confucianism, uh, whatever choice or decision that you have been, uh, you made or either you were birthed in, when you fell out of your mother's matrix, I mean, that's, that's up to you. But neither does neither hear nor say. So anyway, I said all that to say this. Um, you're inevitably going to be judged by people. Now, most people, they get upset, quite upset, when they realize that when they judge me, um, that I really truly don't take it to heart. I pretty much ignore them and don't really care about what their opinion, theology, perspective, viewpoint, point of view, ideologies, opinions, emotions, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the reason being is because, see, here we have an order set up. And, of course, the majority of people who make judgments on me, they neither submit to an order nor are they walking in an order or nor are they in fellowship in an order or are they in any type of assembly or any type of structure whatsoever at all. Um, and I guess a lot of people, they, you know, they think it's their right to be judge, jury, and executioner, and they hold that opinion very, very high. Only one thing about it, nobody else is going to submit to it. It's a new concept. Maybe it's something we ought to consider there. But anyway, people are inevitably get mad and upset because I don't submit to their judgments. I mean, I got people, uh, they don't like my delivery. They don't like the way I preach and I teach, yet they know nothing about me as a man. But, you know, we have an, an eldership here, um, if I can use that term and be pure. Uh, we have an order uh, in the ministry of straightway that is set up, um, or, you know, just like the government. The government has a president, it has, he has his cabinet. Uh, he also has the House and the Senate. In other words, people are also that can inform him how to be better to look out for things and, um, uh, be, you know, be aware of uh, things that, or issues or things that may come up in order to perform the job better. Uh, so it's the same thing as it is when you're uh, uh, in Israel. I'm a pastor, okay? So uh, I, have, I have a bunch of elders, elders scattered out not only um, um, throughout the United States, but we have a, a structure, a base point here. And if I'm doing something, what people, you know, what they perceive to be, you know, maybe something that needs to be challenged in character or nature or something like it, they will come to me. Um, and they will talk to me if there's a concern, if there's a viable concern. But because, you know, people don't live with us, they don't understand. So, and, and I know it's hard for people to understand that just because you come up with something uh, doesn't mean that we're going to take what you have to say. I'm more concerned about the life that you live. Um, I'm more concerned about considering the source. I'm more concerned about what kind of background you come from. You see, we're not going to receive no judgment from people who do not live a separated life. You can't see the evidence um, that you really truly fear the eternal, uh, the creator of the universe, because we don't see the demonstration and the power of the spirit. We neither do we see the confirmation of the spirit. So, And, and, and we don't know you. We do not know you. Um, no doubt there's 7 billion people in the world, so there's 7 billion op opinions. And so which one should we submit to? So we, you know, we follow the structure of the scripture. And, and so I, I guess I'm saying that don't go around and get upset and get mad because uh, you're being ignored. Uh, 
uh, simply because you don't have the wisdom uh, that you think you possess in certain areas. Uh, you know, the Bible says the old man for their wisdom and the young man for their strength. That's the reason why that, you know, the, this, this creator of the universe set this thing up. Now, I understand that today in society that we don't think that, you know, he pretty much knows what's going on and he's kind of out of touch with society of today, uh, the norm of today. Um, his ways are kind of old-fashioned, you know, unconventional. Um, and, and, you know, he, he doesn't understand uh, our society today with our uh, inappropriate attitudes, our out-of-bound spirits and stuff. So I understand that we come from the perspective that we think that this creator universe who knows everything, uh, he may need to adjust his program in order to suit and fit us better so that he can better serve us. I understand that's the opinion of a lot of people, but this type of high lofty opinion it's definitely got us in the shape that we're in today. That's the reason why we're full of spiritual bankruptcy. Well, the moral degradation uh, in this society is just literally off the chain. It's going to continue to keep on going. The erosion of family values, um, the, uh, the epidemic of just flat-out sorry men that will not take care of their responsibilities, i.e. their family, um, uh, the home, um, uh, refusing to work. Uh, I mean, we are in a serious decline here. But anyway... Uh, you know, before considering judgment on anything, I think the best thing to do is just take a good look in the mirror for yourself. I think I said enough. Anyway, uh, it's a little bit about 8, 10. I need to get on down here to the dining hall to eat this morning. Um, uh, Y'all have a blessed day.